Hi everyone, I hope you are fine and doing good. In last few videos, we have learned how to write different forms of linear equation if a line is given or points are given. In today's lesson, we'll try to understand how to draw a line if a linear equation is given in slope intercept form, point slope form and standard form. Let's start the lesson. First of all, we'll try to sketch the line if a question is given in slope intercept form. We know that the slope intercept form is y equals to mx plus p where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Y-intercept is a point where the graph crosses the y-axis. Let's take an example. For example, the question is y equals to 3 by 2 x plus 1. We know that this is the b value, b equals to 1. Okay, it means the y-intercept is 1. And this is our slope, m is equal to 3 by 2. For drawing a linear equation, for sketching a line, we need at least two points. We already have one of the point, the y-intercept. We know that at y-intercept, x is always 0. It means we have a point 0, comma 1. We can place this point on this grid paper. For example, this is the point. Now we need one more point. For finding the second point, we'll be using the definition of a slope. We know that slope is rise over run. It means how many units you have to move up, down, left or right. The numerator representing how many units you have to move up or down and denominator is representing how many units you have to move right or left. As the numerator and denominator both are positive, it means from the starting point, means from this point, we have to move three units up and two units right. Okay, let's do it. From the starting point, means from this point, I will be moving three units up, one, two, three, and two units right, one, two. This is the next point. In the same way, we can find a couple of more points. One, two, three, and one, two. One, two, three, and one, two. Now, join all the points using a line tool. Okay, we got the line. This is how we can draw a line with the help of slope and y-intercept. Now let's try to draw a line if the question is given in point slope form. We know that the point slope form is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Okay, where x1 and y1 is just a random point. Any point on the grid paper, this is any point, and m is the slope. Okay, this is the slope. Let's take an example if the question is given in this form. For example, y plus 5 equals to, I'm taking a negative slope that is minus 1 divided by 3 x minus 2. Now let's try to compare our equation from the general form y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x, x minus x1. You can see there the m is the slope is minus 1 by 3. Our point is means our x1 and y1 value should be Okay, this is negative x1, this is negative 2, it means x1 should be true. And this is negative y1 and this is positive. The sign has changed, we have to write negative 5 here. Okay, if a point is given uh, with positive, you have to write negative. And if the point is, point is given with negative, you have to write with positive. Now, let's try to sketch it. We have a point. Okay, we can call this point as a starting point, 2n minus 5 x equal to 2 and y is minus 5, 1, 2 and this is a point. 
all right now let's try to apply the definition of a slope to figure out remaining points few more points we know that the slope is rise over run numerator is negative it means we have to move one unit down and three units right from the starting point from this point we will be moving one unit down one down and three right it means we can find one one two three we can take one more point we can find one more point one unit down one two three one unit down one two three okay i can take approximately three here now we have a couple of points we can easily draw a line okay this is how we have to draw a line if the question is given in point slope form now we'll try to understand how to draw a line how to sketch a line if the question is given in standard form we know that the standard form of a linear equation is ax plus by equals to c it means your x and y variable are both one side of the equation and the number without any variable the constant will be on the other side of the equation let's take an example 3x minus 2y equals to 6 you can see there this question is given in standard form because the both the variable on the on the left hand side and the number without any variable is on the right hand side okay as i told you earlier for drawing a line we need at least two points what i'm gonna do i will try to figure out two points by making x and y intercept by finding x and y intercept let's make a table i'm going to divide this table into four parts uh not four parts okay this should be x value and this is y value we want to figure it out what is the value of y if x is zero and what is the value of x when y is zero it means we are looking for x and y intercept all right let's do it then replace x equal to zero in this equation three time zero minus two y equals to six three times zero will give you zero minus two y equals to six i'm going to divide both sides with a negative two minus two divided to minus two six divided by negative two it means y should be equals to minus three okay means when x is zero y is negative three that is the y intercept i'm going to replace y with zero and try to see what is x okay three times x 3x i'm taking this equation minus 2 times y is 0 equals to 6 3x minus 2 times 0 will give you 0 equals to 6 i'm going to divide both sides by 3 and 3 will be here x is 2 here now this is the x intercept now we can write a point that is 0 comma minus 3 and this one is 2 comma 0 now i'm going to place these two points on this grid paper 0 and minus 3 0 and minus 3 y is minus 3 and x equal to 2 and y 0 this should be the point okay let's join them with the line tool All right we got it this is how we have to draw a line if the question is given in standard form if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section and if you want to see some more of these type of videos please like and subscribe my channel see you soon with the next video till then take care bye